Uh, I started playing guitar about 14 years old. My parents had one in the closet. Nobody played it in the house. And uh, I just felt like, uh, I don't know, I kept seeing it in there and it took a couple years until I was about 14 when I finally decided to pick it up, read the little chord book inside and where to put your fingers. And uh, I, I guess I thought originally that I kind of had a vision of being in high school and bonfire and girls sitting around and, you know, the guy playing the guitar. It didn't always work like that, but that's how it started. From Dallas, Texas, originally, live in Round Rock, currently. Back then, I, I was uh, I was really engulfed in high school football at the time, but I was doing these North Texas Opry's where I'd go on a Saturday night and I'd play two or three songs. And that was kind of the extent of my performances. I didn't start writing till about 18. One of the songs I played today, Sleeping on the Interstate, is, is a song that's on our, on our latest record, and it kind of it's the, the newest one I have that kind of speaks to exactly what we're doing as a band, what I'm doing as an artist right now. You know, we're, we're traveling around, we're doing all these dates across the country in a van and trailer, not a bus, not an RV. So we had to put some bunks in the back of, the, of our van, you know, and we're sleeping back there. And, and in order to get to the next state, we don't have time to stop in a hotel. So we got to just drive all night, take turns driving. And it's kind of the unglamorous side of what we do. We play probably 80% of our dates in Texas, Oklahoma. During the summer, we're out, but you know, during during the winter and fall months, we're usually in Texas, and you know, we're hitting up. We're we're gonna be in your town at some point or another. Our latest record is called Poets and Prisoners. It's my seventh album, but it's my fourth album that that we did as a band in my studio and produced ourselves, and, and so it's it's just one step closer to us making the music that's uh, that originally was in my head when I wrote the song, which is, it's to me, it's better than going in the studio and buying a certain amount of time. You got to rush and you got to do it as fast as you can. This way we go in, we take our time. Uh, if the drummer's not feeling it that day, he can go home, he can come back the next day. Uh, same same with all the, the players. And it's my road guys, the guys that are you know, here in town now, loading at the venue, those are the guys on the record. And so I think we could we could come closer to the sound we want. So this is the fourth time we've done it. And each time we learn from the mistakes, learn from what we did bad on the last record, learn from stuff that we could do better. And uh, I, I think this is, you know, as any artist would say, this is our best stuff yet. But then again, there's, there's probably better stuff that I can do if, if, if we do another record down the road. So... It's a roundabout way of saying all that. I found all my guys different ways. The, the keyboard player, he's been with me. I met him in 1999, so he's been with me kind of a long time. And I, I met him when I was in college at A&M, Texas A&M. I put an ad out for a local country singer needing a piano player, and he responded. Um, so that's how I found him. All the other guys, there's either through audition processes or friend to friend, recommend them. We take them out for a, a few weeks on the road. and. We've, we've really gotten to a point where it's so important just to have guys you like to hang around with. You know, being a good musician is one thing, but you gotta be able to hang around. We're, we're sharing hotel rooms, you know, you gotta be able to like these guys. And so we, we, we really dig the guys we're with right now. I would say, uh, first thing, learn an instrument. Learn an instrument and get as good as you can. If, if, you, if you wanna go down the road and get some lessons down the street from, from the old guy in, in the old house at the end of the street, do that, you know. That, sometimes that's worth it. Piano, guitar, all those kind of things. Write your own songs, that's really important. And critique your old songs, all of them. So one way to critique it is record yourself. Record it, pop it in an MP3 player and, and drive down the road and listen to it over and over. And eventually you're gonna start saying, ah, that chorus isn't as cool as I thought it was when I first wrote it. And it'll find find its way to, to a better song. Yeah, whatever, whatever your favorite social media is, Facebook, Twitter, we're on all those things, come find us. We're really active on there, we'll, we'll talk back to you. Uh, Anything you want to do, Twitter, Facebook, let's do it.